Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see the problem uh, minimum time to repair the cars. So basically, the problem says that we are given an array called ranks. Ranks is just the rank of the mechanic. So basically, the array ranks just represents the mechanic having the rank, let's say R. So it helps us to find out okay, if my mechanic I, let's say, it has a rank R, then he can repair n cars in r into n square minutes now let's see this example and what we need to do is just we just need to return the minimum time it will take to repair all the cars which is given in the problem itself so in this problem itself i am given the cars which are 10 i have these ranks so according to the answer we don't know for now but according to the answer let's say the cars allocated for each rank. Rank is just represent, okay, for the mechanic 1, the rank is 4, mechanic 2, the rank is 2, mechanic 3, the rank is 3, mechanic 4, the rank is 1. The cars allocated will be in the order 2, 2, 2 and 4, which means that the mechanic 1 will get 2 cars, mechanic 4 will get 4 cars, mechanic 3 will get 2 cars, mechanic 2 will get 2 cars. So, in total, our cars are complete, done, because you need to complete all the cars. So you can easily see that it's given. It's we like we have not included everything, but it's just we are just writing on the same thing down in the simpler format. So mechanic one to repair these two cars will take 16 minutes. Mechanic two to repair the two cars will take eight minutes. Mechanic three will take 12 minutes. Mechanic four will take 16 minutes. So as you can easily see that in total all the cars will get repaired when 16 minutes are done. So, 16 minutes is the required minimum time according to the answer. Now, you will say, okay, I didn't need some minimum time. And I need to find the minimum time itself, right? So, why not? Let's try every minimum time, which means I'll try 1 minute, 2, 3, 4, 10, 16, 17. 16, it will say, okay, you can repair all 10 cars in 16 minutes. Up till here, you can't repair the all 10 cars. Here, as you came to 16, you will be able to repair all all the cars but you will say Aryan, if i have time how would i know that i would be able to repair all the cars or not so basically if you have this particular time okay if you have this upper limit now you will find okay if i give a chance to mechanic one to mechanic one having rank let's say four i give a chance okay you have 16 minutes let me know how many cars you can repair it returned me let's say two I just gave mechanic 2. Hey mechanic 2, you also have 16 minutes. Give me how many, give me how many cars you can repair in 60 minutes. Let's say it gives me, let's say 3 or 4 something. Not sure. I also gave mechanic 3, 16 minutes. Give me how, can you, how many cars you can repair. Let's say it gives me 2 or 3 or something. I gave mechanic 4, 16 minutes. He gave me, okay, I can repair 4 cars. So in total, in 16 minutes, all these combined can repair let's say 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 these many cars which is more than the number of cars required to repair which is the cars are 10 so i can easily say okay 16 can be my answer if 15 is not if 15 is not then 16 is my answer because at 16 i'm able to repair more than 10 cars or at least 10 cars so it's pretty simple and to know okay if if mechanic having our rank and he, we have given let's say him x minutes so how many cars he can repair how to find that so if i mechanic having rank car has x minutes then the number of cars let's say c cars c cars he can repair how to find that by the problem statement itself because the problem said that r is the rank of the i mechanic let's say n cars he can repair in some time x minutes in the problem it was r into n square is equals to that time let me show you equals to that number of minutes it will take it's the number of minutes minutes so basically i need to find the c so i'll just put it down below so r comes here it will become x by r then i need to find the c so i just do a square root so c is the number of cars repaired by the person by the mechanic of rank car v and we provide him x minutes that's the number of cars c and similarly i will find for every mechanic i'll just give him okay you have x x minutes 
Now every mechanic go and find how many cars you can repair. And as all the mechanics can work simultaneously, it's given the problem. All the cars can be repaired simultaneously. So I can just add all those number of a whole cars repaired. I'll just attend. Okay. Now at some point, it will say, okay, now it is able to repair that all the cars or at least more than the cars which are given. Let's say in this example, it was 10. So it's just that, okay, we can just move on to every minute and check if that if this minute is sufficient enough to repair the cars given in the question. What's the complexity like? Complexity will be see. Firstly, you have to go at, go at every minute. Let's see how many number of minutes are there. But for every minute, you have to check, okay, what's the number of cars I can repair in that X minutes. But that X minutes, it can range from one up till what? Up till the worst case, it can be 1e19. How? See, it can, sorry, it can be 1e14. How? See, if the problem statement says that if we have one mechanic having the rank I is 100 and he has to repair 1e6 cars, then he will take, because it's just for one mechanic, rank I, he will take rank into n square. N is 1e6 square, which is 1e14 number of minutes. That's the reason that X can go up to 1E14. So it's for sure that our complexity will go 1 90 and that's not feasible. Think, think of something else, some, something else, something else. We have X minutes, minutes 1, 2, 3, go on. Why not choose a random minute out of all this whole range of minutes from 1 to 1E14? Let's choose a random minute. And if that minute is possible, it's for sure that I can try for lesser range, but if that minute itself is not sufficient enough, which means that lesser minutes will also not be sufficient enough, right? So we have to try for more range and that's what is binary search, which means that I just have this whole minutes thing. I just choose a random in our example to optimize it. We choose the mid. I choose this mid minute out of this whole range and see, okay, if it is possible, to repair the C cars using the question in that X minute, let's say here 1000 minutes. Is it possible? If yes, if yes, then I can just reduce my range to this range because now I can just check. Okay, let's try for the lesser minutes. But if it is not, then it's for sure that lesser minutes are of no value to us. We have to look for only in the more minutes. So then I have to increase my range to mid plus one to R and that is what buying search is, which will actually help us to reduce because see at every step we are just reducing to half, half, half. That's the reason it will just be log of that X minutes. Thus I'll just get a log of X. So in total, the complexity will reduce to N into log X, which was earlier N into X. The code is also pretty simple. Firstly, a standard binary search part that we got the uh, answer. Oh, answer is not required here. So if we have this L, we have this R, L is one, R is 1 14, one minute, maximum 1 14 minutes. And we saw how the, how we got this 1 14 minutes. Then uh, we just have this binary search that if L is less than R, uh, mid will be L plus R by two. Then we check mid is just the number of minutes here. In our example, we took X minutes. So it's just that, okay, I will try for this mid minutes time and see if it is, if that is sufficient, if that time is sufficient to repair those cars, if it is, if it is sufficient, then I can just reduce my range and just try for lesser time. I will put my R to mid. If it is not, I have to go beyond mid, which means that I have to try from mid plus one up till end. And ultimately I can return L or R anything because both L and R are same. But how to check, okay, if that time is sufficient or not, that's pretty simple by the function which we showed that firstly, we need to iterate on every rank and see that, okay, that person, which means that mechanic having the rank R has min given minutes, how many cars he can repair? He can repair C cars which I showed you how you find it because C is just under root of X by R. And I just keep on adding in my whole cars done. Like it's just, uh, um, I took a variable that, okay, so far these many cars are done or repaired. And ultimately I need to make sure that number of cars repaired, if it is more than number of cars, which I'm given in the question. 
So I can just return a true because I have repaired more cars than what was required. I can repair lesser car also. So I just like re return a true. But if it is not, if this is not, I need to re return a false because I won't be able to repair cars, C cars in my X time, which means min given time. So yeah, that was the problem. It was pretty straightforward and simple. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do hit the like button. I'll move to it a lot. And yeah, see you then. Goodbye. Take care. Why I rap every time in the end?